Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night to you all, my friends. Doom here. And today we are taking a look at my pair of Alistair Bastion Custom Knives Oblivions. Now, this is a prime example of how you can contact a custom maker and have the same knife done in two completely different ways. So let's first take a look at the full dress. Now, this particular knife is, it's just, it's a work of art. Starting off with this wild Tonto on the blade, which is a Magna Cut Core Boomerang San Mai Damascus. Coming up through here with this wild hand filing work done through the spine of the blade, which in turn continues down the entire backspacer of this knife being a three-piece stainless steel, flamed titanium, and stainless steel. Now, I don't think the camera will ever be able to pick up the way the light reflects off of this at different angles, but this whole thing from the spine all the way down through the back, and then as well on these pivots. These are all hand file work. Tons and tons and tons of work goes into filing that. Now, then we go into the rest of the knife, these pivot collars and the scales as well as the clip are titanium Damascus that Bastion makes himself. It's not purchased. He actually folds the titanium, flames the titanium, and then forms all of this by hand. The bolsters on this particular one are a zirconium, Polished and blackened, yes, it is an absolute fingerprint magnet, but it is a beautiful fingerprint magnet. The liners on this are also torch-flamed titanium, and if you can see down in there, you'll see that this is actually etched with Bastion number 275. This is the 275th folder that he has made since he started doing all of this. Now, this particular knife, we're looking at, uh, we'll say approximately three and a half inches on the blade. And all the way to the tail of that backspacer, five and a quarter inch. Now this is a chonky boy. We're looking at almost three quarters of an inch thickness on this, even more closer to an inch. If you include the width of that clip, it's not light either. I don't have my scale out here but these are thick and heavy and meaty materials. Absolute, absolute stunner. Now, I have carried this, I have cut with it. Uh, it's, it's just, it's a fantastic knife. I love it. But then once I had this knife in hand, I decided I want something a little more every day, so to speak. So I had him make me this one. This is the exact same knife. Almost. This is what he calls the EDC version. With a hand satin 
154 cm blade, hand distressed pivots, hand distressed titanium liners and backspacers with a lanyard hole. I had him add that on there. This is the only Oblivion that I am aware of that has a lanyard hole on it. Uh, you can see on here where it's got some snail trails from where I've carried it. You can see where the doodad has rubbed along that clip, this blackened titanium clip, blackened titanium bolsters, and shred carbon fiber on the scales. Now, one thing that I have found with this knife is that, well, let me back up. It also has the file work here that is done just like this one, but you can see it's done to a much lesser extent. You will also notice that the blade stock is thinner, giving this knife a slightly different profile, and the blade is actually a little bit smaller. So let's get the measurements on this one to see where the differences are. This one has, we'll call it a three and a quarter inch blade, a little over three and a quarter on the cutting edge with uh, just shy of five inches on the overall handle. And then this one is under, it's about five eighths of an inch on this one. So definitely thicker with the thicker back spacer and the thicker blade stock. And then this one is significantly lighter than this one. And it's, it's really, it's made to be carried and made to be, in essence, a beater knife. Uh, this one has the jimping on the uh, liner, so you can grab onto it easily, where this one is just chamfered. Both of these are running on stainless steel caged bearings. And, I, I mean, I really, I don't know what else to say about these other than... This is the epitome of modern custom knife making. You can contact the maker and say, hey, this is what I am looking for. Can you do this for me? And the answer is going to be either, yes, I will work with you, or no, not going to do it. Well, I've found with Ali Bastian that, if you want it within reason, he can make that happen for you. I wanted a lanyard hole. He gave me a lanyard hole. I wanted a zirconium with, with titanium Damascus and titanium Damascus and this crazy Magna Cut core San Mai, and he made it happen. All this hand filing, the three piece with the titanium down the middle, he made it happen. This is custom knife making. If you can think it up, he can most likely make it for you. So with all that said, I, I guess this is really more of just a show and tell to show off my pair of Alibastian Oblivions. Uh, this one here is the very next one in the series. This is the Bastion number 276. So 275, 276. He made these back to back for me. So anyway, he, she, them, they's. Thank you for looking at my Bastion knives with me. I, I hope you enjoyed them. And uh, as much as I do, I, I love you all. And I will see you on the next one. Doom out.